What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on my channel. Um, almost out of lockdown, give it two more days. Uh, and then we have Monday off due to Labor Day in here in Australia. And then I'm back to work Tuesday where I'll probably continue doing videos from my car, um, which feels a bit OG now since I've been doing videos around the house because I can't go anywhere or do anything. Um, yeah, thank you <coughs> to all the support. Sorry about the cough. I'm going to cough a lot. Um, thank you for all the support again. Um, I appreciate the comments and all the love. Um, you know, doing the best I can to get content out. So I'll get straight into it. So Minamino's uh, had a £17 million price tag slapped on him. Um, apparently we're going in for him. Uh, this is one that I said early on that I like the look of. I still do. He's done it in the Premier League. I know that his stats aren't fantastic, but from uh, an attacking midfield spot, I thought he looked quite good for Southampton um, at times. And I think um, for Liverpool, he was... When he when he got a chance, he he did a job. I don't think he was poor. Obviously, he wasn't Mane Salah standards, but he was he was I believe good enough. Um, I do think he will work in this system um, with two attacking midfielders and two strikers. I think there's going to be options. I think he's going to be. Uh, I think he'll be a good player. I got a good feel about Minamino, um, and seventeen million pounds is probably. I think that's probably a fair reflection. Um, but look, that the price keeps changing all the time. Um, apparently, we are talking to him, and we are the leaders at the moment. Um, we're in the driver's seat for that signing. If uh, if we do want it, whether that happens or not, I'm not 100 sure. Uh, but we do need well, probably one more attacking midfielder in to play that spot because we don't really have it at the moment. Um, but if we were to get him him in, that's uh, three signings in the window so far, and um, you know, and we haven't lost one yet. Um, but this is where we'll get on to the next one because with the possibility of Phillips going to uh, Man City as they're, as they're readying a bid for Phillips, um, we are in for Mark Rocker. Um, £10 million, 25-year-old from Bayern Munich. He's uh, just over six foot tall. He's not quick, but we don't need him to be quick in the middle there. Um, very good with his feet. Looks like he can play a ball. So he looks like that sort of player that's going to hold the ball up. He's got to be a bit of a uh, take the pressure in, um, get the ball from the defence and uh, and and start driving it forward a little bit. Like I said, he's not pacey, um, but I imagine he's pretty strong on the ball and he can play a ball around. Bayern Munich don't get in midfielders unless they can play a ball, that's for sure. Um, he can play a long ball as well. So I think he'll be the player that can link up between the the, the midfield and the, and the rest of the forward line. Um, Hopefully we can get him in and keep Phillips. That'd be nice. Um, have two two defensive midfielders in there that can 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 do a job. Aronson and, and Minamino. Imagine that. that. I think that's a great midfield. I think that's a that's a definitely stay up next season midfield. Um, alongside you know whoever up top, whether it be Gelhard, jo uh, sorry, I'll call him Joffy. It's easier. Uh, whether it's with Joffy Bamford or you know uh, Castellanos or Ellis, who I do I'd like the look of Ellis. He's quick, very, very quick, and, you know, everyone loves a pace merchant, especially in this league. Um, but, yeah, 25-year-old, £10 million. Um, you know, Michael Cuisance, I remember he, we were going for him the other year from uh, from Bayern Munich. I think he, did, he moved to France and did okay, but probably nothing special. Um, a player we missed out, missed out on that I thought would have been all right, but I think he's had injury issues. I haven't really kept up with it, but I remember um, him having injury injury issues, and then I think when he went to France, it was a bit of the same. But, yeah, look, Mark Rocker could be a good deal, could be one that gets done. It's looking pretty positive at the moment, so fingers crossed we get him in because I just want to strengthen before we start losing some players. Um, it looks like we're spending money that we have at the moment. It's not like we've stopped signing people because we don't have money, so... Um, if we do lose a couple, hopefully they reinvest that money into even more players. So looking pretty good so far. And uh, Christensen, geez, he looks like a beast, doesn't he? He looks like a big boy. Um, the video, just watch the video on the Legion United official uh, channel of his sort of first day around Ellen Road, um, doing his physical and all that sort of stuff. I love those videos. It's always great to see. Um, but he looks like a man mountain. He looks like a big boy. So, uh, you know, yeah, I like. I really like the look of him. Um, could be, end up being a cult. He's got that feeling like he's going to be a cult hero for Leeds. Um, eventually, kind of like the ailing sort of vibe to it. But he's not. Doesn't have that sort of banter to him. But he's going to be enforcer. He, he's going to be. 
yeah, he's going to be battering Ram at the right back spot. Um, with that, actually, another right back we're looking at, Ola Aina from Torino. He's a uh, Nigerian, 25 year old <coughs> right back who's quite quick. I think we're looking at getting him in as a backup to Stuart Dallas um, because of the injury, and as obviously he's getting a bit older. Uh, and he's a cut price. I I do like the look of getting players in. Uh, I don't know how much he's worth. It didn't have a value, but if we get players in to play backup, but you know, then we've got plenty of backup there at right back. And Stuart Dallas can be used elsewhere. I'm sick of using him at full back. I know he's done a, he's done a job there, but you can play him in the middle and stuff. And you know, it just frees up space having more numbers. Um, so look, that's only uh, only a freshie. There's no set price on it. I can't profess to know too much, but he's been playing at Torino. Like I said, 25 year old right back. Pacey. Um, so, yeah, who knows? Um, so, Victor Order is talking to Ellis, the, the Bordeaux striker. Well, on loan to Bordeaux at the moment, who's got relegated. We talked about him in yesterday's video. Um, he is actually, apparently, Order is actually talking to him, which um, I think yesterday it was said that he was talking to him as well. But now it seems like he's actually trying to get a deal done. Um Relatively cheap for a striker. Um, you know, we're doing a few cut deals. I like Liga, so I like just getting a striker from Liga uh, more so than MLS. But if we can get him and Castellanos done, um, having two new striker options, because Bamford is not reliable to be there all the time. Um, I do think we start with Bamford, but when he gets injured, we've got to have options. Um, and I think those will be the options. Plus, if we are playing a high-tempo game, if we have four different strikers we can use, you rotating them in and out, and hopefully with that, it means we can go on a bit of a cup run for once. Um, I think we had a decent enough one this year. Maybe it was the year before. Um, not not good, but it was better. Better than the usual first or second round knockout that we always incur. Um, but yeah, I'd like to see a bit of a cup run this year. I think having depth up front is that. I think Bamford's due to get injured again probably at some point during the year, which means there'll be plenty of chances um obviously maybe they've identified that Gelhard isn't going to be a starter yet for us which i'm worried that means that he's going to end up leaving because i think he's probably thinking he's ready for a start um i do think he's ready for a start i'd like to see him start whether that happens or not i'm not too sure but look we, we might only bring in one of either ellis or castellanos which means there'll be plenty of opportunities for for joffy going for going forward um so yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, and last one, a bit of a throwaway one that's popped up. Um, it's not really a link as such. Sorry, I'm spinning around and everything, but um, I don't have anything at home. I don't have my stand or anything or anything to, to pop this on. Um, yeah, a bit of a last one. Gareth Bale uh, it's popped up saying that why not Leeds take a pump on Gareth Bale? Um, look, if this was five years ago, yeah, I would have loved it, but not now. I think he's... He's on his last legs. I think he's injury prone. I don't think he likes playing club football. He only seems to want to play golf and play for Wales. Um, he's a bit older. Look, if you could get him in for really cheap, but his wages would be ridiculous. Would be pretty ridiculous. I think he'd be on over a hundred k a week probably um, for a player that we don't even have wingers at the moment. If we're going to play the system, I'm thinking we're going to play, which would mean he'd be in attacking midfield or maybe a striker spot. Striker could be a shout. I think he would do a job from there, but it's about keeping him on the park, and I don't, I don't think he can keep him on the park. I think he'd be, uh, yeah, he's a bit injury prone. So, a bit of a normal starter on Gareth Bale, if I'm honest with you. So, I'm, but I'm throwing it out there because it's on, it's on the news, and it's Gareth Bale. Um, I thought about putting him in the, in the, uh, in the thumbnail of video, get some clicks, but I, I don't, I don't like doing that clickbait stuff. Um, too, too much. I think that one's a bit too out there. I just saw that there was a, um, if you have a look on Google and you type in Leeds United transfer news, that it was popping up that somebody said we should take a punt. Uh, I can't remember who it was, but it's, it's just somebody saying we should, we should have a crack at it, but I don't, I don't think we should. Um, but yeah, that's all for today. Um, Mark Rocker looks like a, I, I have a feeling that could be going ahead. Is he better than Lewis O'Brien? I'm not too sure. Um, you know, it's hard, probably hard for him to get into the Bayern Munich squad on a regular basis, but you can never say no to a Bayern Munich player. They don't buy any old shite, do they? They, they only buy quality players. So, yeah, who knows? Um, but, yeah, if you like the video, drop me a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, peace.